This is the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550. And now, here's your host, Sarah Mosin. Great to be back here again, folks. It is the Pittsburgh Weekend Edition, and thank you for the calls and uh, questions, and certainly very grateful, happy, and um, looking forward to having the Trella family here. I have Mark and his son, Nikki, and of course, uh, good friend Dan Otto on air t- uh, today. So a lot of great conversations, things that we re- all need to address, and um, certainly a lot of great things that you're doing, uh, Mark and Nikki, with the foundation. I Love You More Foundation, is that correct? That's correct. Can you tell us a little bit about this great, wonderful foundation? Um, yeah, so where do we start? So um, two, almost two years now, October mm-hmm. of 2016, uh, our son, Mike, Michael, uh, Michael Trella, uh, passed away in his sleep. Uh, not really, we really have no answers, no reason why. Um, and off that came um, the foundation. Uh, we wanted to kind of make sure that Michael's memory stayed alive and kind of do things that he was all about, which was helping and caring for others. That's kind of kid he was. So right. that's where the foundation was founded. And as, as we've been doing it, it's kind of morphed a little bit. And um, what we've decided to focus on is the, uh, the idea of really, uh, aside from scholarships that we provide, but um, the majority of what we're focused on now is kind of almost like a bereavement fund for parents right. of lost children. You know, these conversations are difficult ones, but they're important ones. So I'm grateful that you are here, Mark and Nikki, and it's just, uh, you know, things we, we have to address. And, and it's a wonderful thing that you've created something good out of this, a foundation that's going to do some good for families, because during that bereavement process, there's also uh, expenses. And so that is important so that we can come together as a community yes. and find uh, some way to make it a little bit easier. And it's never easy. But it's important, um, you know, folks, if you want to find out more about um, I Love You More Foundation, the Trella Foundation, it's a, something I support uh, 100%. So I certainly think that what a wonderful thing to be able to do this. Um, I was talking to your son, Nikki, on air a little bit off air, and you're in sports. Yes, yes. Two of my favorites. So soccer is number one in my list. I, I come from Asia, so soccer is number one. And then lacrosse, right? Yes. Very good. And. Do you have a rap song for us today? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were ready. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready. Okay, no, well, you're going to come back again yeah, so that we can have yep. that happen. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back. So um, can you tell us a little bit more? Because we have Dan Otto, who's a good friend. And uh, I have to say, Dan, thank you for bringing uh, Mark and Nikki today and uh, sharing. We'd like to thank you, Sarah, for having us. Um, I am one of the board members. Mark has uh, established this foundation, and we've got a um, we've got a good group of people in a uh, really well connected um, uh, township that we live in. We all live out in Moon Township, and everybody's been so supportive. Um, we've had a couple um, events. One of it uh, was an annual one that we had just started. And um, the support that we've gotten from everyone locally has been just amazing. And um, Mark has a a few good members on this board that are really go-getters. And, um, you know, we're just trying to help him and Sue Ellen, his wife Sue Ellen, and uh, all of the boys out, uh, Matthew, Nikki, and uh, Anthony, um, and they're all they're all into this, and uh, this is what uh, this is what we're about. Absolutely, and I think so. Dan and I know each other, and we had a conversation over class one day. And one of the key things is that um, it's important for people to to know and to be able to be a part of something that is far greater than ourselves. So this is what you've done as a family. Uh, Sue Ellen, your wife, and and yourself, Mark and Nikki, and all of your brothers. I think that this is one of the hard things to talk about. You know, we have these stigmas. We were talking earlier about stigma against money, stigma against losing a loved one, stigma against addiction. We deal with all of the above, and we're all human. So 
what you and, and Sue Ellen have done is to create this ability for people to at least have it a little bit easier, you know, to yeah. be able to get through a difficult time with the expenses. And uh, I support 100% you have an event coming up, I guess. So the Derby event that Dan was referring to was our first annual one. We held it in on the day of the Kentucky Derby. It's a live we live broadcast in the Kentucky Derby, and we do mint juleps, and it was a yeah. it was an unbelievable event, especially for the first year. Couldn't have done it without the help of the board and Moon Township and the people. Um, but it was an amazing event, so we won't do it again until May of next year. Right. But we're already planning. Good, yes. And, and good. Um, you know, the SMPJ Club was, uh, was where we held the, the event down in Oakdale, mm -hmm. and uh, they did a great job working with us. They were very, very great gracious and, and providing you know making it easier for us so hats off to them as well um and then on the flip side we've had a lot of support too with uh, cool marketing out of cranberries really kind of got on board to help us promote the foundation they came to the event and they were like oh my this is unbelievable we got to help you guys so right. so it's been it's been great so next mark your calendars for may 5th or may 6th whatever it is uh for the kentucky derby next year because it, you know if it's anything like the past year it's going to be a great time i'm sure it will we'll be there okay if, even if i'm not invited I'll no be you're there. invited you're invited <laughs> right, <Nikki. You're> absolutely... <laughs> um, maybe nikki will rap for you i, I want him to rap I, i'm serious <laughs> nikki i want you to come back by yourself no, bring your mom. <laughs> do the rap because I do. I want him to come on air. And I mean, we have young people. I had Rocky. She's a young singer. She came in. She sang for. She she's been singing for many years. And it's young talent, which is something that's really important. They're the gifted ones. I'll tell you, these young ones, the millennials are buying homes. They're fifty percent of the homeowners. You know that. Like, <laughs> you're. What do they call you? You're not a millennial. No. What are? No, what? I'm a, I don't know what <laughs> they, there's a term. Yeah, there is a term. Yeah, but. They're the smart ones because everything, the social media, they're connected, they're on top of the things, they, they're moving. You know, we were kind of like, okay, well, <laughs> we got to we gotta pick up the phone and dial. And there was this really interesting thing on social media about kids trying to figure out what the phone was back in our day. Did you see it? I didn't. Oh, my goodness. They didn't know what it was. They were like, they would pick it up. They didn't know how to dial. They were talking on it before they actually dialed it. Right. But, um. I, I do love our youth because they keep us, you know, on our feet. And there's so much that's changing so quickly. Um, and what uh, what year are you in school, Nikki? Um, I'm going to be a sophomore in college. Are you? Yes. So you're also well. College wise, are you going to be what? Uh, um, I attend a Westminster College. Do you? Yes. And what kind of are you in? Just the sports arena? What kind of area? Of so I play lacrosse there. Um, and I'm majoring in a marketing in sport, minor in sports management. Oh, wonderful. Very good. Yeah. So it's like, it's a proud moment, I'm sure, for you as well, Mark, with your children. It is. And all that you're doing, I think it's such a gift. Children are a gift, and the foundation in itself is I love you more. And um, Michael is a gift. He's kind to everyone, to all of his friends. So he has left a legacy, a great memory, and you are continuing that. So I think that it's really important, folks, to come on board and, you know, show support. And we're going to talk a little bit when it comes a little bit closer to the date about a location. Yes. If there's yes. A, a place that you have in mind, we'd, we'd be happy to help <laughs> in any way. Appreciate that. Uh, there's some really, really good locations here in Pittsburgh, fun locations. Um, and uh, is there a goal on how much money needs to be raised? Um, as much as possible. As much as possible. <laughs> I mean, if, uh, the, I've been in touch with Children's Hospital. They do have a bereavement fund fund as well. So right. I, I, I'm planning on trying to meet with them. Uh, but, you know, we had a, a couple interviews with some of the new, uh, paper, Post-Gazette and whatnot. And I, it's hard to give a number. Like, they're like, how sure. much do you want to raise? I'm like, millions. Unlimited, yes, of course. <laughs> the more we can raise, the more people we can help. Uh, so no parent should ever have to worry about how much it's going to cost to, mm -hmm. God forbid, they have to go through right. that. But that should be the last of their concern. Absolutely. And um, out of because I wasn't sure with the foundation, does it apply to anyone anywhere in the U.S.? Or is it are we looking at Pennsylvania? I mean, our focus has been locally, more sure. here regionally. But, you know, as, as I don't think that we really have the funds or the, the means to support nationally. But. That could Some be an point. ultimate goal. Sure. Yes. I mean, That's our certainly. goal. Yes. yes. And it's a good one to have. Um, so, Sarah, you had said, you know, God, God, there's a plan and God's, we're all part of God's plan. Absolutely. And 
Mark can attest to this from this past uh, fundraiser. Um, do you want to share with what we uh, we 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 met we met? We have time. Okay. okay. We have time. So so it was kind of interesting. Um, we had planned on holding the event initially at uh, at a beautiful place in Moon Robin Hill, which is a gorgeous setting. But the as it got closer, we were like it's 120 people you can put in there we're, we're not going to be able to do this so we were crutch time it was it was march madness we were watching mm, a basketball yeah, game yeah. and we were sitting there talking and one of my friends came uh with to meet us and he mentioned the serbian club you know the or the uh Slov- slovenian club the smpj and dan's like oh i know that place of course, I was Dan. A fundraiser up there uh, a couple months before for a, a gentleman who passed away and his family. So right. I thought it was a great place, a great venue, and and it was, it and, was. And we got in touch with uh, the, the girl who ran it, and she really helped us out. They actually ended up donating the place back to us. Didn't charge them for anything, and and it turns out, good Mark. Yeah. So we found out afterwards that you know. God does bring people together, right? So Shelly, uh, who who was unbelievable, who supported us, who helped us, and how to put up with Dan for that process. <laughs> That's um, quite horrible, it? was all is it? good stuff, all good stuff. <laughs> Shelly um, had a son that was very sick, we found out later. And um, Shelly's son passed away about a month ago, um, mm-hmm. and he succumbed to cancer. Um, so in the end, it ended up, Shelly was the very first person in our foundation was able to help support Very through the good. process through that grieving bereavement process and she just sent me a thank you letter and you know it said and she said she said you know it's amazing it's it's almost as if we were meant to meet and i said absolutely and yes that it, it really is you know on a whim i mean that's march we put that program together in two months mm-hmm. you know and shelly helped us and she never brought it up. She never talked about it. We found out that she had a son that was sick. And it's just, it's, it's, it really, that's when you have moments like that that makes you really realize that someone is looking over us. And 100%. Yeah. I believe it. I truly do. And we have about 40 seconds. So I, I what happened even what, the, the next segment is with Walt uh, from the Pirates, the camera guy icon with 11 tellies. And there was uh, things that have happened to his children, you know, who also, uh, very difficult situation. So we, we're all very, very connected. We have to remember that. And uh, God has a plan. We just need to stay out of his way. That's what I say. And yes. I feel very blessed and grateful. Nikki, you're coming back. You're going to sing that rap yep. song. And um, thank you for coming. Really appreciate. And yeah. Mark, thank you for coming. And Dan, thank you for bringing us all together. Uh-huh. Um, you can call us here at 412-221-1569. Or you can go to the I Love You More Foundation. Trello27.com. Perfect. And with that, folks, stay well. Thank you. Thank you. This has been the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550.